many of my friends used to be Christians from the old Christian families. So that's how I got a hang of the, uh, the, the dialect they speak, which later when I want to recreate in my novel, I found that uh, people are more or less forgotten it or deliberately suppressing it because they thought it was crude. It's called Kochi Basha and it's the language used by the, by the Kochi people, mainly the Latin Christians, fisher folks. When I started doing the novel, I was not able to get many of the nuances, so I had to uh, stay here and then listen to old people. But now that language, that, that inferiority about that language is gone. Now a lot of Malayalam films are capturing that, uh, that dialect in the films. It has now, for example, I mean, um, potato used to be called Adhap. So my own guess is um, uh, Dutch for potato is Adapel. Probably it could have come from there. So there's a lot of words which are uh, Dutch, Portuguese, maybe Latin. It's very interesting, you know. We never had a home concept in Kerala. So all the items associated with home, the words are mostly Portuguese. Window, Janel, Bench, Casera, Chair. So almost all Varanda. Varanda is actually probably Dutch. Then of course English. Then all the legal words are from Persian. Kadalas, Amin. So various languages probably according to their inclination has contributed a lot to Malayalam. Malayalam probably will be having the maximum number of loan words. Not the maximum, English should be having the uh, maximum. Among the Indian languages at Among least. Among the Indian because languages. Because of our influence, yeah, yeah. cross-currents. That That's thing. right.